Welcome back. Well, we have Dr. John Hovenessian here from Harvard Eye Associates. Well, welcome back. Nice it to see so you. It is so great to be here, Lisa. <laughs> it's always a pleasure to well, join Well, thank you. you for coming in. And uh, very exciting. You have a new implant. And so we're going to talk a little bit about that. But you know what? For those folks who may have moved in to the village and may not have known who you are, Tell us about Harvard Eye Associates. Well, we're a, an eye care group that uh, spans the spectrum of everything from you know basic eye care, contact lenses, and annual exams to the most advanced eye surgeries. We're 20 doctors in all the different specialties, uh, obviously close to the village, and so we've long had a wonderful relationship with the people here. We love the community and uh, and are here to just kind of educate on what's new in eye care mostly and uh, help people be aware. So now you, you span the gamut all the way from just a regular eye exam to surgery. And, and right. what specialty surgeries do you do? Yeah, so all of the major specialties in eye care, from the very front of the eye, cornea, uh, to uh, we have doctor, three specialists in We've got four specialists in cornea, three in glaucoma. Uh, we've got a, a variety of doctors who do oculoplastic, so surgery of the eyelids, both cosmetic and functional. Oh, okay. Uh, from cancers to just looking better. Uh, wow. to uh, uh, retina surgery and, uh, and you know, really all the major specialties in eye right. care are represented at a very high, you know, fellowship level trained uh, kind of, you know, doctors right. in multiple in our practice. So it's really nice. We have a unified group of all just nice people. Most importantly, yeah. everybody's nice and we have a, a great culture where we try to treat our patients like you know, like family members. Exactly. So exactly. Yeah. Now yeah. you're just located in, you're located not too far from here, over yeah. near the hospital. Actually, yeah. right yeah. next door to the hospital. That's right. Uh, next to Saddleback Hospital uh, in a medical building there near Gate Two on okay. uh, Magdalena Street. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. So. Well, thank you for the introduction. <laughs> for those who may not know, I mean, he's been here forever, but nonetheless, <laughs> we just wanted to let everybody know. So let's. Let's talk about this new implant and how it might differ from the ones you already have. Yeah, so um, lens implants are what we, what every patient receives when they have cataract surgery. And of course, cataract surgery, a lot of people don't know, is the most commonly performed surgical procedure in the United States. That's because most of us get it, cataract, if we live long enough, and we get two. So we get to yeah. go through it twice. <laughs> the implant that we receive sets our vision for the rest of, the, of our life. It, the prescription in that implant is custom, you know, can be custom made for the patient. Uh, and there are just a variety of different um, technologies that have been developed for this. Mm -hmm. When a new one comes along and is FDA approved, uh, it is a big deal because that doesn't happen every year. Right. And, uh, you know, it's, a, it's a, not a common occurrence. This one is really unique because it serves kind of two separate needs. Uh, one is people with astigmatism, which is about 70% mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. us have astigmatism mm -hmm. in our eyes. And if we want to correct that, we can. Uh, the other group is very different. It's a group of people who have irregular eyes. So if you've had certain conditions in the past, like you've had radial keratotomy surgery, okay. you have almost by definition an irregular eye. Uh, if you have scars or other problems, if you've had pterygium, which is surfer eye, you might be a candidate for this type of lens implant when mm. you have cataract surgery. Mm -hmm. And that's because the eye is irregular and no ordinary lens implant can give it a real well-focused uh, vision. Now, when you say irregular, tell me what you mean by irregular. When I'm thinking irregular, I'm thinking shape. Yeah, that's exactly oh, right. Okay. It is shape indeed. So the very front surface of the eye, the cornea, is the most important focusing part of the eye. Okay. And of course, it can look perfectly normal. You know, if you just look at the eye, it, it, it looks round for about everybody. Yeah. But um, microscopically, there can be irregularities in this that can make a huge difference in the way we see. Okay. We have ways of measuring this. We know when it's regular versus irregular. We know how to, you know, correct those. And now we have one more tool for people whose eyes are microscopically irregular. Okay, so let's look at that um, picture again. So what's the, so you've got two different, oh, yeah. I see, two different lenses here. So they're similar, but the one on the right has a, a black yeah, there's a dark circle. circle. So what's that about? So that, that mask, it's called, is designed to direct most of the light rays coming through this implant through the very center. It's mm -hmm. a small aperture, or another way to say it is a pinhole. It's about one and a half millimeters in diameter, and that's not terribly small. And here's a picture of what it looks like in an eye with the pupil dilated. Now, is if it you have red? it, well, so why is it red? Just like when you get red eye, when you take a picture of some, sometimes of oh. people with a flash, <laughs> okay. we're seeing that red eye here. I see. Um, and there, there's another picture that follows. It looks like just a normal eye. Oh, okay. And under normal conditions, it looks like this. Oh, you okay, don't see great. anything abnormal. Okay. It just looks like an eye. Okay. Uh, here with the pupil dilated, we, we, we do it that way so you can yeah. see what it looks like inside the eye. Okay. It goes where a normal lens implant goes. It is like a normal lens implant except for that dark mask. 
And that mask allows us to use small aperture optics. And that's um, the principle some of us learned in fifth grade science when we yeah. learned that if you have a pinhole camera. <laughs> right, you can look at the sun and yeah, well, you, you, can, you can focus like a lens with a <laughs> yeah. pinhole. You don't need an actual lens, right. that's right. And so this works by the same uh, concept. Uh, and, it, uh, and it really allows high quality vision, better than we can get with any other implant, right. uh, particularly for people with irregular eyes. And so okay. you know, it, it really is a nice development because we haven't had anything that quite as nicely serves that population. Yeah. With the, what would you say the population with that type of uh, eye would be? Yeah, it's actually not that uncommon. It's huh. between five and 10% oh. of people going through cataract surgery, which is you know, among all of us, sure. have some degree of irregularity. I see. As always, you know, it takes good judgment for a doctor, uh, understanding a patient, good measurements, and so we can't, you know, uh, just make blanket statements about who it applies to. We have to uh, evaluate, and that's one of the nice right. things that we enjoy doing is helping to understand our patients, what their visual needs are, and then, right. you know, suiting the technology to right. them. Right. One nice thing, uh, you know, because now this is just FDA approved, so most doctors across the country are just learning about it. But yeah. well, we've been using this lens for five or six years because we were part, we work very closely oh. through the FDA approval process, oh, gotcha. helping get the lens approved. So oh. I put this in dozens of, oh, you of have eyes already. and have lots of experience with it, it, even though it's otherwise just uh, yeah. new to most But now doctors. it's available to those who weren't part of that study. That's right. Now right. it's available to doctors everywhere. Right. Um, it, 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 they're slowly releasing it uh, because, uh, you know, there are some learning points for doctors who are new to it, but we're already well past that oh, that's ourselves great. having having used it. So oh, that's great. It's nice to have choices, right? So this yeah. way, at least you can serve more of the population that's right. than before. So. That's right. Exactly. Medical care should be uh, as customized as it can be, so that we're helping more, right? Well, than it's just, getting you know, there. One size fits all. I think it's slowly, slowly, um, but surely, it's changing to be specific. To the individual. It really so. is, yeah. It's exciting to see the advances in medicine that are keeping people alive longer, and more importantly, with high quality of life, right? I well, mean, and sure. This is the place for it. If Laguna you can't Woods. see and you can't hear, what the heck else can you do, right? <laughs> That's right. Vision's so important. And we it lose is. lots of things threaten our independence as right. we get older, but right. having good vision is something we use every yeah. day of our life. So Absolutely. there's value in it. Excellent. Thank you so much for the information. It's great to be here. Great to see you again. You too. If you want more information about the lens that we have just discussed, you can always go to Harvard Eye Associates at harvardeye.com or you could call them at 949-951-2020. We'll be right back.